is that is that is that what they did there was and i talked about this with the youth last night too is that there it was based on on who they knew god to be yeah because they had a relationship with um with god they knew who god was and in fact you see that when they addressed the king yeah we're not gonna bow we're right. not gonna bow to your peer pressure and you're not just like a teen you're a king right there's well, something there for the church by the way but we're good uh, another day um but they say we're not gonna bow to you because our God is able. Right. But even if he doesn't save us, he's still holy and he deserves our worship and our lives. Right. I would also say, you know, on a practical everyday level is like number one, and we've talked about this in this podcast before is, you know, guarding who has access to your children is going to be a big key in who can peer pressure your children. So, yeah. and if you, if they're around somebody consistently that's peer pressuring into things that are not the way of the Lord or of your family, then it's time to remove that person's access to your children. And I don't care who it is. You need to know the Bible Yeah, okay. and you can learn together. That's the thing. Like you don't have to learn the Bible and then teach them. You can walk along together and learn it at the same time. Yeah. Because you can't really give anything that you don't, that you don't have. have. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so, and again, teaching them, it, this is the same. I mean, it's, we should have just lumped this together because it's the same thing. It's who has access to your children, what has access to your children, media, all of those things. And we'll get to that in a minute. And, uh, you know, who has authority to speak into your children and, um, and where are your priorities as a family? What are you pri prioritizing in your life and in your children's life? I think that that has a, a huge access with it. If you have a child that is struggling in, uh, say a school setting and you keep seeing choices that they're making and you see the peers that they're surrounding themselves, right. It's probably time to, the, to remove them from the government schooling, right. You know, you, you just, and sometimes as parents, we have to make those hard choices yeah. for our children. We have to say, I know you're going to hate me for a little while, but like, I have to do what the Lord is telling me to do for your life, to save your life. Right. And this is what we're going to do instead. And sometimes you just, you have to do that because you love your child. The devil, the Satan, like we were all dead in our sins and trespasses mm -hmm. under his influence, but God being rich in mercy because of his great love he saved us he made yeah. us alive together with christ that's ephesians 2 1 through 10. so to understand that is to address those issues with your kids too yes to like when it comes to it matters of like pornography mm -hmm. or sexual things you can see the outcome of living in a society yes that is under the influence of satan when you look at divorce rates right when you look at human trafficking and all those are in a rape those are all abortion. in abortion those yeah. are all results of living in a sexually saturated culture.